Hey, what's going on family? Hey, just wanted to come out and have another video um, just to talk with you all for a minute. Um, I know that, hey, listen, I'm done talking about me. <laughs> Look, I knew it was going to be tough. Um, I knew that it was going to be something where uh, it was going to be an issue for people. And that's OK. As a, and as a matter of fact, um, I think I actually lost some subscribers over that. Um, but it was something that had to be talked about, had to talk about meat, had to talk about what kind of meat. And again, I'm not a meat eater, um, so I'm not pushing that at all. But there are going to be a lot of people who are going to be coming in. There's going to be a lot of people here coming up who's going to be joining the channel. There's going to be a lot of people who are going to be coming in and joining our membership program. And I have to give from A to Z. OK, so the, since we are Bible believers, we believe in the word, what the word says. And I have to give all information, even though I don't eat meat, um, I still have to help people who do eat meat as well. So I hope you all understand why I had to go through that. We had to do it from a foundational issue, from what our father says, what we should eat and what we shouldn't eat. Um, so that had to be discussed. Um, and I know it's tough for people. I know there's a lot of people who support, you know, animal rights and, you know, they support about how uh, animals are treated. And, I, and again, as I've said previously, I'm all about that. I'm with that. I do not believe that animals should be mistreated. I believe that the Most High puts in us a way in how we are to treat animals and we should love animals uh, because he made them. Um, but again, we also know that he gave permission for us to eat certain animals and we have to be OK with us doing that. We have to be OK with other people who decide that they want to eat the biblical meat that we are prescribed to eat. We have to be OK with that. And when people come into our group, when people come into the membership, you have to meet the needs of all the people. Now, there are going to be people who are going to come in who are like me. You know, I eat majority fruit, I eat vegetables, um, you know, and I even eat a little bit of cooked food every now and then. So there are going to be a variety of people who are going to come and we have to make sure that we meet everyone's needs. Now, I do know that there have been some people who actually left uh, because they didn't believe in eating meat at all. And so I'm OK with that. This probably isn't the group for people who feel that way, for people who get upset um, about people eating meat, this probably is not the group that you want to be um, a part of because the Bible gives us permission. All right, so, man, that was a, that was a loud little bite. So, but he gives us that permission. So we should be okay with that. We should not be against that. We should not put people down because they choose to eat that way. We should be OK with that because our father is their father. And if they believe that they can eat meat according to his word, then as brothers and sisters, we should be OK with them doing that, even though we choose not to do that. All right. So, again, I just wanted to make sure that we understand and we have the understanding that it's OK if a person does. And it's okay if a person doesn't, if they're like me and they choose not to eat it. But again, our goal here and our mission is to help people who want, who want to change their life from that processed food and they want to eat the pure biblical food. As I always say, who want to eat from the king's table. And it's so important that we understand that. It's so important that we love people who love the most high who loves his Messiah that he sent for us and who want to eat what they deem good for us to eat. All right, so let's just think about this. Let's break this down. A candy bar. When you look at everything that a candy bar is actually made of, a processed candy bar, let's be honest, everything that it's made of, you break down all of the ingredients that is in it. There's no way that our Messiah says, would say to you, hey, it's okay, eat that. It's okay. And especially when he knows that it harms our body. 
And if we really love him, like we say that we love him, we're gonna do whatever it takes to please him. See, that's what's most important. We're gonna keep our temples holy for him. And we're gonna do what is right according to him. My fear is, is that we're doing what is right according to us. Many of us, we don't want to come under submission, nor do we want to come under subjection of what the word says. We don't want to come under submission of what the word says because that causes us to have to change things in our life. But you know what? Those things that it causes us to change in our life is for the better. It's for the best. It helps give us long life. It lets us spend extra days, extra weeks, extra months, extra years with our family. See, that's what's important. When you're obedient to the Most High, He gives you those things. And so when you're obedient, you eat for Him. And instead of eating for our worldly pleasures, which we're all trained to do that. Look, I totally get it. I understand. We, we are trained from childbirth. That's why when, you know, they would give us something sweet to eat, we would eat that. But when they would give us gr mashed green beans, we'd spit it out. Ugh. Don't want it. Give us something sweet, we'll eat it. If it ain't sweet, ugh, we'll spit it out. Even babies do that. And so they put it back in our mouth and we finally would eat it. And so that's what goes on with us today is we eat for pleasure. We eat for what really tastes good to us. And you know, we should enjoy what we eat. Uh, but my, my fear is, and the problem is, is that we eat what they make for us, not what he makes for us. See, what they make for us tastes, it, it really, oh, you think that it tastes so much better, but in actuality, it really doesn't taste better. It's really not good for you. So that's the whole mission of us. We want to do what's right. We want to eat the foods that are clean. And again, I really thank you for bearing with me. It was very hard for me to do that, uh, those lessons and do that many lessons about meat. And I just, I wanted to make sure that we just had a great foundation for where we're starting from. I, I felt like we had to get that out of the way so that we can move on. For those of you all who did not get to see any of those lessons um, that I did that was about meat, please go back and look at those lessons, pull your scripture out, read, do your own research to see what our Father allows us to eat when it comes to meat. Okay, and for those of you who don't eat meat, hey, it's not an issue whatsoever because you don't even eat it. I don't even eat it. So it's, it's really no big deal to us who don't eat meat. But for those who do choose to come into this walk, who do choose uh, to be a part of this movement, who do choose to be a part of the membership, that we have to meet everyone's needs as long as it is, it is uh, in accordance with what the word is saying. All right? Hey, so again, if y'all have questions, please put them below. Um, I don't know everything and I don't want anybody to think that I know it all. I don't know it all. I just know my struggles that I've had all of my life. I just know what struggles I had when I was dealing with obesity and what I was doing to myself. And I would just want to help other people who were going through those things. Again, I knew I was going to hell. I knew it was going to happen. Why? Because I knew that my God was my stomach. And there's a lot of people who are out there who are going through the exact same thing that I was going through, having the exact same feelings of guilt and depression, um, anxiety that I was going through because I just could not overcome. So that's why we have created From Process to Pure Food Movement because once you get over that processed food, you'll see that the pure food is so good you don't have those reactions that you had from the processed stuff that man has created, but you enjoy and you love what the Most High has created. So I know you probably see me in a, a graveyard. This is, I actually walk through here, um, have a lot of family here in this graveyard, here in this town. Anyway, but I go through and I just walk through because guess what? 
these people aren't going to hurt you. <laughs> hey, these people, they ain't going to talk back to you. It's the ones who are out there that you got to worry about. All right. Hey, so, hey, anyway, thank you all for listening. And, and I really do appreciate you all so very much. Those of you who are hanging in here uh, with me, again, I know that there are some who have left. And, hey, it's understandable. But this really probably wasn't their channel anyway. All right. So this is for you all. Hey, if you have... Uh, some questions that you would like to be answered or maybe a subject that you'd like to be um, talked about and discussed hey put it in the comments that way I can address those particular issues all right hey I look so forward to seeing you all look so forward to being able to communicate with you all and I will see you on the next video though I don't physically see you uh, I look so forward to seeing you on the next video all right <laughs>